My name is Chon, and this is my father's house. So I want to learn fashion and designing. I really appreciate. Even if, even if in the dream, I'm not even believe that I will see this kind of help. I really appreciate. Good day, everyone. This is Daya Cetro, the most handsome, yekebo, African, nicious, adrenaline pumping, a physical husband. And as usual, we have this pepperoni, sugarlicious, periwinkle, tinko tinko, <laughs> hot baby girl. On today's show, I have Joquette Soluani Cetro, and it's a pleasure having you around today on the Cetro's Vlog family uh, or on the Cetro's channel. Yeah. We want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, and tweeting. And a big thank you goes to our patrons. You can be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we are at it once again. Ah. The story of today is about this young lady called Joy. Uh, Joy happens to be one of these uh, young ladies that... Uh, trying to survive in this busy world where people are not there to lend helping and she lost a brother that was uh, supporting her and the family and as a result of that she had to end up as a bank security slash cleaner i remember the day i walked into a particular bank in the city of lagos and something just told me look at that a uh, security lady that used to attend to you very well she needs help i was just like what kind of help then i just walk up to her and as usual she greeted me the way she normally greets and i just told her everything i heard in my head that you need this and this and this you can't continue this kind of a work you can't continue this kind of a job. This is not the kind of job you will hand over to your children. You need something that you can do with your hands and be successful at it, be creative at it. And to my greatest shock and surprise, she started crying. So after the cry, she was not able to manage herself and say, actually, it's not that I love doing this type of job. It's not like I love risking my life, we don't have anything to pro uh, protect ourselves and all the likes. Went robbers come and the likes. Said, it's not that I like doing it, but there is no means that I can come out of this because I have house rent to pay. I have to find myself to eat every day. Who will pay for me if I want to start learning? And that's the challenge that most African youths are facing. That's why they go about doing menial jobs because they feel that when they do these menial jobs, they'll get paid and they can eat per day, at least to eat. And before they pay house rent and every other thing, because she doesn't have a father again, and the brother that was helping them also died. So, do you know? I don't know. She said, There is no way I can even do it. If I say I want to go and learn, how will I be eating? So, that was our Cetrus Foundation now came in. We now said, Don't worry. We're going to ensure that people like you, you're going to learn, and at least for the first month, we are going to pay you at the end of the month, so that it will just be as if you still went to your for you, to your workplace, but you're learning a skill that will make you independent. And it was like the whole world has changed. For if you see her video, she said, "I was a cleaner before God helped me." <laughs> Good evening. All. My name is Joy. I'm working as a cleaner before God see me through. You people can see it now. This is my father's house. So I want to learn fashion and designing. After learning finish, I will carry three children, train them free of charge. I really appreciate. Even if even if in the dream, I'm not even believe that I will see this kind of help. I really appreciate. God will bless you people. And I promise that I will train those three children free of charge. Please, you people can help me. You people can see it. I'm not even plan to come back December, but I'm coming back December because of my father's beggar. This is my father's house. You people can see my father's house. Please, you people can help me. My mother cannot stand up, come and greet. And if I enter inside, there is no network. That's why I dare outside. Please, I really appreciate. You people can 
You people can help me. You people should help me. And I promise I will help some people too. Thanks. God bless you people. As in, the thing just like, it was just as if the whole world has changed for her. She just started saying, thank you. Thank you, auntie. Thank you. I said, it's God that you should thank. I remember she was just saying, is, is this true? That is this real? That she never thought that something like that could happen to her. That I just told her, just calm down. God has remembered you. I just told her, just calm down. God is thinking about you. God has remembered you because I don't know where the, the voice was just coming into my ear that this is what this lady needs. And I was shocked. She said she has been having it. Uh, she has been passionate about learning fashion. But there is no way she could go and learn fashion because there is no food for her and her brother. It's just her and her brother that are in Lagos here. The mother is not that strong in the village and she's just there. And the girl was just like, how oh, that is like a miracle. So we are so glad that this lady is turning a new leaf. Oh, and I think what uh, Cetro Foundation, we want to think we want to start doing better right now is to start picking up these youths that are scattered everywhere across Africa that their major problems is due to the fact that they don't have means of livelihood. That's why they can't do anything creative. That's why they, they, the other people that want to destabilize the world can use them because they just need to eat first to be alive. So I think the step we're taking ahead right now is that once we get them engaged, at least for the first one month that they are learning that particular trade, we try to pay their salary. So for this particular lady right now, we've paid for a training in fashion, six month training, that's about 41,000 plus registration. It's going to do the dollar equivalent. And we're planning to give her at the end of the month, 20,000 Naira for her upkeep for as a salary, as if she still went to work at least for this month so that she can sustain herself. Then we have to get our sewing machine as we are able very soon. We have to get her so that she can really live a life of being the person she ought to be and helping others around. Because she, she traveled to the village uh, to bury uh, the only person that is standing in as her father and she should be back within this week. So we've already paid for her training. As she's returning back to Lagos, she's not going to back, she's not going back to that risky job because uh, the kind of job she's doing at, in, at the bank, these are just, you know, this plain security officers, they don't have gun to protect themselves. They are just security slash cleaners for mouth sake in the banking uh, sector. They are not well paid. And whenever there is robbery, these are the first set of people that criminals shoot at and they, they just waste their life. So seeing a lady that she's risking her life into this and the younger brother happens to be uh, working in a, what's it called, factory, factory worker. I had to even beg the younger brother because the younger brother was also dejected. She wanted, he wanted to return back to the village. I had to beg the younger brother that don't go back to the village. Let us assist your sister first within the first six months so that your sister can be able to uh, create some designs. We'll see how we can rally around to help her sell our product. Then we'll come back to you because the younger brother seems to be considering learning shoemaking and uh, we want to be true with our sister so that we will now come to assist the brother in a particular skill because that's the only way the two of them can be able to join ends together to maintain to continue to maintain the payments for the rent of where they currently stay in lagos because lagos is more expensive than any other part uh, than most other parts in Nigeria. So that's just the good news we have today. And we are so glad that this lady, she's just uh, she's just happy as a laughter, as smiles. She said, I'm going to pick up three picking. 
<laughs> Do you know what it means? I said she's going to give birth to those children. She said, I'm going to, I hope you heard her. She said, I will pick up three picking. What she means is that she's going to pick up three other young African youths. When she stabilized, she will now train them in fashion. It's not that she's giving birth to them. And that's it. So today, this is all we have for this segment. Don't forget the joy therapy. It kills it all. And I think the greatest joy is not being selfish just thinking about how you can make life better or for the next person just a cup of water can solve the problem of the next person close to you so please doing by doing this will make the world a better place and we stop complaining about what anyone is doing but let's do our own bits and that's it on this segment today don't forget the joy therapy it kills it all and please if there is anything we want you to continue to do for us on this channel is for you to help us in sharing this is the best way you can support what we are doing sharing our videos so that more people get to see what we are doing so that we can be able to continue to expand in changing lives of people all across the continent of Africa and before we move to the globe. Okay, and that's just it. So this is from ours to you, the Cetras. And please don't forget about the Oak Therapy. In 2021, you need to hug your spouse 21 times per day because it kills what we call synthosynthesis. <laughs> okay, and that's just it from us to you, the Cetras. We love you, catch you, bye-bye. You may like to watch this video or this.